Hello and welcome. Hi, I'm the Restless Kaiser. And I am Johnny B. But together we are... Modeling, Modeling for Advantage. Advantage. Well made. Oh, another game. Stuart McCorkadale, who uh, my wife is referring to as Mr. McAdoodle. Mr. McAdoodle. Mr. McAdoodle. Great guy. Uh, sent us a copy of Dead Man's Handover uh, to review, uh, having appeared on our live show a couple of weeks back. But of course, having looked at it and already interested in their uh, 1914 game, I got in touch. We've actually opened a trade account with them uh, because we like their stuff. And I like Stuart. He was a nice guy. He's a cool dude. He's a cool dude. So this is the new Dead Man's Hand starter set. £35 retail, I think, at time of recording. Cheap as chips, mate. Cheap as chips, mate, for what you get in it. You get all the things. Look at the back. You want to show them the back, John? You get well, the I cards, get, you get the counters. I get it open. Cards, counters, gunfighters. Is there, right, it tells you, this starter set gives you everything you need to get going in Dead Man's Hand. Oh, well, there you go. Including Dead Man's Hand rule book. 15 oh, yeah. plastic multi-part miniatures. Awesome. Um, two dice, which is 1d10, 1d20. Colours may vary. <laughs> <laughs> it says that. Card deck and 30 double-sided card markers and movement sticks. Oosh. Very Beautiful. nice. Look at all of that, gobbins. So, um, one of the things that I like about this, just immediately looking at the back there, is is heavily stylized. You know, the, the, the playing cards I'm liking, for your, I'm for your actions. I'm liking the stylized the games. Footprints on the movement, on, on the ruler. Oh, yeah? Even the box. And the box, unlike a lot, it's not side opening. It's a nice kind of presentation tray, so you get that, you know, oh. that tapas feel oh. when you open it. Have a rummage. So uh, opening it up, we got uh, oh, interestingly, we got fifteen bases. Perfect. That'll be for cards, them. Fifteen dudes. A yellow D twenty oh. in this case, and a white D ten. Oh, you see, it's red and black on the back. Got some sprue, three sprues. Do you want to have a look at those, John? Yes. Nice punch cards, nice thick cards for your status effects. I'm going to give you one back. Oh. You're going to give me one back? Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, get a little, little movement gauge there. I love these. And a book. A book in a nice little plastic bag. So this, this set's been out for a, a little while, hasn't it? I'm convinced, yes. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I've never played it, but it's been around. I know of it. I'll give you a deck of the cards. Oh! So, um, I haven't played it. I, I don't know. I don't know. Other than, like, it should be played to a Nino Marconi. Yes, exactly. Uh, has on, to be on the, the CD soundtrack. player. Uh, so, these okay. decks, because it's, it's, it's a full set of cards. It is a full set. Yeah, yeah, ace through uh, to king with a joker. Nice. What are they? That's sweet. They've all got text on. I was not yes. anticipating that. I so they're not were... now. A small disappointment. These are not playing cards. Not proper playing. They're cards. not playing card size. They're quite. They're yeah. quite. They're quite tidgy. Even in my. Even in my tiny hands. Uh, but they're still perfectly readable. They're still nice. Five of hearts. Play an opposing model at any point during the move action. Its turn ends immediately. It loses any further actions. So these are quite uh, interesting things. It's going to mix up the game yeah. a little bit. I'll have a quick skeg at the rule book then, John. Oh, yellow belly. Mm. <laughs> Found an enemy model. If it suffers another fire, the nerve test result from shooting. The nerve test is automatically failed. Bye bye. Be interesting to see how these, uh, you know, how play these in. things. Yeah, because yeah. there are no unit cards in here. No. Um, so nicely presented rule book. Still keeping very strongly within that theme, within that style, and like the 1914 rule book, which I've looked at. There's not, there's not loads of rules in here. What was it? 32, 42 pages. It's all right, isn't it. Yeah, they even got a spare set of markers at the back, just in case you didn't buy this set and have these nice proprietary tokens. Um, so, artwork oh, wow. in keeping. I mean, it's, it's difficult to review this as a rule set because I've not played it or seen it being played. Yeah. Um, but I can tell you it's all laid out nicely. I mean, this is the first time I've looked at it. Weapons table. Pistols get a maximum of three shots, you know. Oh. And have a point blank range of up to 10, a close range of up to 20, and a long range of up to 30. 
I, I, what does know. that mean? Who knows? What, what does that mean? Who knows? What it doesn't have is it doesn't have loads of little sidebars with a million exceptions to the rules. And actually, a good chunk of this deck, this book is telling you what's written on those cards. There's copies of it in here oh. and an explanation. Um, even some tactics. So it says about the three of spades. Kind of obvious really stopping that additional one point of aim can be the difference between life and death. Because the card says, place on opposing model after it declares actions. Any bonus for aiming is lost. That's cool. So as well as telling you what the cards do, it's giving you some little tactical tips. I think cards, I think this is this is what 21st century wargaming really has brought is flavour cards. All of these. I yeah. So this I'm trying to think of other other systems that have them. Yeah. So, for example, Flames of War has got its command cards, and they can even th do things that change the points value yeah. of the unit, so it allows you allows you to mix things up a lot. So, um, we'll have a look at the sprue in a second. I mean, mm. the, the main thing that stopped me from playing this one is the knowledge that I need another board. Yeah. You really want to get that, that, that feel for a Western town. Now, Renedra yeah. have the, a couple of That's ramshackle huge. buildings yes, that fit, that, you um, that you've, you've now got another one of. So I, I felt we're one. now ready. We're now at a place where we, we can, can have the, maybe do a little, you know, yeah. the isolated farm. Yeah. We can do that. We can do that, but that's it. But you want the town. Yeah. You want the saloon. You want the undertaker and all of that. Right. Let's have a look at this sprue. Have another look at the sprue. The sprue's not new. Um, but it is it is nice. So these are 28 mil, as you would expect. You got one, two, three, four, five legs and five uppers. Yep. The ubiquitous duster cut, obviously. Naturally. Um, all, all of your western heads. Uh, you get loads of little knickknacks on here as well. You, the standard, your holsters. You get little cactus as well. Look, you can have a little cactus. Your rope, dynamite. Some sort nice. of dead head of an oxen thing and the way you've got these extra um these extra pair of barrels allow you to have a guy with a broken open shotgun yeah you, you know nice rather touch. than it being sculpted and incredibly fragile yeah they give you the separate piece that you're gonna glue on later i imagine it's still pretty fragile but, um, <laughs> yeah most probably yeah but still you get some options in there you get all the different heads um, yeah. some of which look more bad guy than good guy Yes, um, and at least one of these pistol hands. Where did I see it? Yeah, one is a hand on a holstered pistol. Sweet. Which is which is nice. That's what you that, want. That ready draw. to draw. Thing. Oh yeah, I see it. Yeah. Um, you do get five sheriff badges as well, so you can you can do a lot with this. You can make outlaws. You can mm. make you know your lawmen. Yeah, you got an arm. The arm carrying the saddlebags. Naturally. That's With a, all the loot in it. That's a that's a nice feature, and a couple of open and empty hand, uh, hands rolled up sleeves. You've got pistols on here, shotties. Oh, the cow skull. Yes. <laughs> Standard. Yeah, and and knowing some people, that's just going to be on a base, right? Yeah. It's going to be following a dude around all over town. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever he goes, and empty pistol holsters. Yes. Really important. Really important. So look at the bodies that they all got. Have they all? Everyone got a gun belt. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Everyone's got a gun belt. So everyone wants. Oh yeah, they're massive. Those sheriff stars for yeah, the scale. Yeah, they're, they're huge. But I right? like the fact that you can just put it on, right? Yeah. Same with the rope. And is that a, is that a collection of dynamite? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for you know what you need. <laughs> for what you need. Yeah. It's, it's nice. It's nice. I mean, you got as I say, you got what five, six. Seven. Oh, that's the Undertaker hat, isn't it? Oh, there's a guy in a top hat. I mean, you, you sometimes get that guy, and another guy with a bag on his head. You got bowler hats. You got two, like that. couple of bowlers. Yeah, yeah, nice cowboy. There is options. Is. There are not but, excessively. No, because no. this is the only sprue they do. Or and is it? In terms of the pieces, then. Um, Although the models, they're not like Warhammer size 28 mils, but the connections on the arms are, are a decent size. Mm -hmm. You know, so if you've if you've made that Perry or some of the Vitrix miniatures, the you know, the arms, because they're truer to scale. Yeah, very fine. They, they, they can be quite fiddly, whereas these look like they've got a decent size connection and most of them a one arm and weapon which again even it so even with the long guns you've not got a lot of separate pieces to try yeah. and line up 
which is good. One can reasonably, one would reasonably assume all the bodies fit on all the legs, but that might not be the case. Unconfirmed. Um, because your uppers, you get one duster, because that's the cool one, right? Well, the pieces aren't numbered. Two jackets so and two. It's quite open. Yeah, yeah, it's it certainly. So yeah, this this guy's got like a vest on that short short torso mm. or a very short jacket, um, and the other one's just in a shirt. Uh, there is a distinct lack of just long johns, though. Just oh, there's no in long, guy johns. In long johns. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this is what you get in the start set. You got, so you've got 15 models in the start set, which is nice. You're going to be able to build some couple of gangs yeah, with that for sure. Um, they do make uh, the Gunfighters expansion pack, which is the same sprues. I think it's just another 10 guys. Yes, correct. Uh, There's another 10 guys if you, if you wanted to make more variety. But more recently, <gasps> the other thing he sent us was they've reduced, they've released the girls. Ladies. The ladies. A lovely sprue of. Uh, this one's even better because you get stuff like battle chickens, different variants of cacti, um, and these are very different in scale. Mm. So you can't really mix. Yeah, the arms these from with the those males. are not, yeah. not going to fit yeah. on these. They're, they're women, right? Literally. Um, nice selection of heads. Mm. Some of them look a bit like grandmas and whatnot. Yeah. Get your eyes you, you on the, that. You want, the, you want the old girl with a skillet, mate? Yeah. That's, that's what, what you really want. Yeah, the body sizes are very different, aren't very, they? Very, very. But that's good. Yeah. I like so the that. So the only snag with that is not a... Um, it, it's good. There's a lot of variety there. But you're not going to get yourself a big sturdy girl. No. They're, oh. all, they're all very lean. But that's because it's for fighters. You're saying sturdy girls can't fight. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they're all, they're all rather athletic. Yes, they in are, their yeah. in their build, but similarly, there there isn't a fat guy on here, you know. True, true. You know, and actually, if there's a thing that's quite rare in a miniature, is a fat guy. Yeah. You get, you get fat guy like characters. This is a character for fat guy. It's just like no, this guy's just just the one at the back of the line. In the <laughs> and, you know, when we're out on the cross country. So don't mind doing the banditos of it. Oh, you see, there's so much scope here. For their mm. plastic kits, you know, there's so much that yeah. they do. Yeah, and the re I think there is a range of metal figures to back these up yes. as well. Yeah, uh, you know, if is. you want to get that more characterful stuff. Um, but that's our first look at Dead Man's Hand. Sorry, I can't tell you much about the game because we haven't played it. But for as as far as the starter set goes, for thirty five squid diddlies, for thirty five quid book, nice presentation case, heavily stylized. Yeah. I mean, you're gonna if you're gonna print me some tokens, this is nice thick cardstock, Ooh. good quality cards that fit within the theme. Tasty. The dice that you need for the game, whatever. Perfect. Enough minutes to go. I mean, what more could you want, right? I like it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. -bye. If you're tempted by Dead Man's Hand, thinking about purchasing it or some of the support materials, check out our website, modernforadvantage.co.uk. It's a great way to support the channel. Buy your miniatures from us.